Hi, this is Brian Sims over at Club Greenwood. Uh, today we're going to be making a video on how to make your own dumbbell. Uh, I know a lot of people have dumbbells up to maybe 10, 12 pounds, but somebody that needs one a little bit heavier, it's a little hard to get dumbbells these days. Uh, so we're going to make one from some supplies you just can get at Home Depot. Um, I spent just under $15 and I'll be letting you know everything that we use today. So some of the supplies I have are PVC pipe, uh, it's one inch diameter. Um, I bought two caps just to give it a little bit more bite into the cement that we're going to use today. So I'm going to glue these to the end. Gives it a little lip right here. That way it won't pull out of the cement quite as easy. Um, and then I've got two and a half quart buckets. Uh, I've got these in the painting section. Um, you can use any size bucket you'd like, uh, depending on how heavy you want to go. And we'll determine exactly how heavy this is at the end. I'll go ahead and weigh it for you and let you know exactly how heavy it is. Uh, but those are some of the supplies that you're going to need and a bag of cement. Uh, they come in 60 pound bags. Go ahead and just get the cheapest bag that you want. Um, there's not going to be anything specific that we need with the cement. All right, to start off, I measured off uh, the amount of concrete that I'm going to need. Uh, I just put it in the bucket because that's how much I'm going to start with. I'll probably add a little bit more just so I come up with a little bit of extra. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and dump that out and mix that up. Now we're going to add it to the bucket. I'm going to fill this up to halfway and then I'm going to put the PVC pipe in for the handle. Alright, so I got it about halfway full. I'm going to put the PVC pipe in and try to keep it straight and I'm going to put the rest of the cement around it. So now I'm going to let that dry for approximately one day and then tomorrow um, I'll make the other bucket and then I'll flip the whole thing upside down, slide it in on this end, I'll cut this down to size, um, but we'll go ahead and film that as well. Hi everybody, we're back today. Uh, we're going to finish up making that dumbbell that we started the other day. I've just let it cure for a couple days, so we're going to make the other side. I'm going to take you through the steps uh, that I'm using. Um, you can change these steps up a little bit depending on uh, the types of uh, buckets you're using and how big of a dumbbell you're making. So since I didn't cut this prior, I'm going to cut the, the handle here um, to size. So what I'm going to do is just lay this down sideways. This is going to be the other bucket that we're going to do today. I'm going to measure off. This is going to go almost to the bottom. So I want probably about 8 inches or so for a handle for myself. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that, and then we'll go ahead and cut it to size. Like I said, I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter because I don't want it to go all the way to the bottom of the bucket when I set this in there. Um, so then I'm going to take a saw. You can use a lot of different saws um, or cutting tools or cut it to size prior. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and get through here hopefully quick. That's good. Looks just about right. All right. Also, I'm taking these little caps. You don't necessarily have to use these. I'm just doing it to give it a little bit more bite into the cement once it dries. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit of glue. This is a uh, Gorilla Glue. You can use whatever type you want, um, and you may not use any at all. That's fine. Um, I've got the one side finished here. It's cured for a couple days now. Um, I cut the pole to length and I've got my cap on. What we're going to do is we're going to start off. We're going to do the same thing we did last time. Fill the bucket up with dry cement and then mix some water with it. That way we come, without, come with the proper amount. 
um, and then we'll set this in upside down the opposite direction okay. so let's go ahead and get started Now we're just going to mix up the cement, put it in the bucket, and we're going to put the other uh, side of the dumbbell on top, and then we'll wait for it to cure for uh, a couple more days, and our dumbbell should be done after that. Alright guys, we're on our last day of making your dumbbell. Uh, the dumbbell is all finished here, and what I was going to do is uh, measure to see how much it weighs for you. Um, I was hoping for 30 pounds, we'll see exactly how much it actually weighs though. I'm going to just zero this out. I have 25.4 pounds. So I'm just going to write that on there. All right. So depending on the size of uh, buckets you use, uh, will depend on uh, how heavy that's going to be. So these were two and a half quart size. Uh, you can go slightly bigger than that if you want. I'm going to go ahead and leave mine here. I'm going to leave the buckets on. You could break it and uh, cut the buckets off if you want. Paint them and reuse them and make another set of dumbbells if you'd like. Uh, I just wanted to show you that. Um, if you have any questions, um, you can email me at brians at clubgreenwood.com. Um, and hopefully the club will be open soon. Glad to see you guys. Have a good one.